boys and girls, and welcome to Brain Bank. Today we're going to read a fun story together, and this story is called Zebras Don't Brush Their Teeth. And this story is by Lynette Evans. Now, zebras don't brush their teeth. That's an unusual name for a story, don't you think? Here is a picture of a zebra, and oh, look at that mouth. Look at those teeth. Do you brush your teeth? I do too, but it looks like this title is correct. It looks like zebras don't brush their teeth. Let's keep reading to find out more. Zebras don't brush their teeth, and here we see many items that you might find in your bathroom. And these are all items we would use to keep our bodies clean. So let's see what we have, shall we? Let's see. Well, along with the title about brushing teeth, does anyone know what this is? Yes, this is a toothbrush. And we should brush our teeth two or three times a day at least. And what about this? This goes with the toothbrush. Yes, this is called toothpaste. There, are some to there is some toothpaste on the toothbrush, and this is to keep our teeth nice and white and clean. Good. Now, what about this down here? Does anyone know what that is? Yes, that is called soap. And soap is used with water, and we make a lather, and we usually wash our face and our bodies with soap. But after we use soap, we have to dry ourselves off. So we use a towel. A towel, very good. And this towel is blue. It's a very pretty towel. Now, what about our hair? If we want to take care of our hair, we can use a brush or a comb. A comb, and the comb has a very interesting spelling, C-O-M-B. The B is silent. When we say comb, you don't hear me say the B. I don't say comb. I just say comb. So this is a comb, and what about these things? These are for our nails. This is called a nail clipper, and we use it to cut our nails. And this is a nail brush or a scrub brush, and we can use it to clean our nails. Good, so these are all different supplies that we would use to clean our bodies. Ah, there's that picture of that zebra again with his dirty teeth. Zebras don't brush their teeth. Can we read that all together? Zebras don't brush their teeth. And yes, this zebra looks like he has a very dirty mouth with some dirty teeth. They are yellow, and I like my teeth to be white. I don't know about you. Ah! Now this boy knows how to keep his teeth clean. But I do. And he's got the toothbrush, remember? And the toothpaste. And he is brushing his teeth. And they look pretty nice and white, don't they? Much better than the zebra's teeth. Oh, what have we here? We have a monkey or a chimpanzee. Ah. Chimpanzees don't wash their faces. Oh, that's not good. All this fur, they'll get very dirty and smelly. Ah, but I do. And here we have a girl, and she's wearing a robe, a bathrobe. R-O-B-E. She's wearing a robe. And she's using a towel and probably some soap to wash her face. Very nice. Ooh, what animal is this? 
Yes, this is a lion, a ferocious lion. Lions don't comb their hair. Let's try that all together, shall we? Lions don't comb their hair. Oh, yeah, I can tell. See, his hair looks all messy and tangly. Oh, but I do. And look at how nice his hair is. It's nice and straight and flat. He is using a comb to comb his hair. Yes, he knows what to do. Oh, what have we here? This is an animal that can be found in Australia. A kangaroo. Kangaroos don't wash their hands. Ugh. Let's try that together. Kangaroos don't wash their hands. Yuck. Ah, but I do. Here's a little girl in the sink. She has some soap, and it looks like she's making a good lather with the soap on her hands. She's getting nice and clean. Good for her. Oh, what have we here? Here's an interesting animal with looks like sharp claws. Let's see. Bears don't clip their nails. Yes, their nails look so sharp. If we didn't clip our nails, they would be long and we could hurt somebody. Ah, but I do. This little girl is very smart. She's using the nail clipper to cut or clip her nails. Very good. Things I must do. So let's go over the checklist so that we can remember what we must do to keep our bodies clean. Brush teeth. Check. Wash face. Check. Comb hair. Do you comb your hair? Good. Check. Wash hands. Good. Check. And clip nails. Or cut your nails with the nail clipper. Check. Good. I hope if you make a checklist like this at home, yours will look the same. I hope that you will also be able to check in all of the boxes that you do these things daily because they're very important to keep our bodies clean. So that's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope I'll see you again very soon in the next series. Bye-bye.